Wimbledon is almost upon us and I feel like it's building up into potentially the, the greatest Wimbledon I can remember. Look at the top four men, they've got 51 Grand Slam titles between them and that is a first, I don't think that's ever happened before in the history of the game. Look at the women's draw and there's no Serena Williams. Well, we do miss a champion of her stature. But on the other hand, when Serena plays, it sometimes feels like a bit of a foregone conclusion that we now have what's a very open tournament. You can't look past the guy who's the runaway favourite now. He beat the 20-year-old emerging challenger Alexander Zverev by a massive margin in the Halle final. The guy is a miracle. There's nothing else to say. He's 35 years old. He won the Australian Open in January. He's beaten Rafael Nadal on all three occasions they've met so far this season. I just don't see anyone producing a real threat to him at the moment. There's always a lot of people are going to want to see Nick Kyrgios because you just don't know what he's going to do next. Now, he had a disruptive build-up. He fell in his first round at Queen's. He injured his hip. So we don't quite know what we're going to get from him. but. The guy, when he's feeling it, he can take anyone on, and he's just such a charismatic presence. Not somebody I think is going to win it, clearly, but just a great presence on the court as well. Another very charismatic young man, Denis Chapovalov, 18-year-old Canadian, and given a wild card into the draw. He played a Davis Cup match against Great Britain earlier in the year, where he made the headlines for smacking a ball into the face of the umpire. I think he could attract our attention in a, in a more wholesome way, let's say, in the next few weeks. Well, Yelena Ostapenko is the French Open champion, and there's no reason why we shouldn't be looking at something impressive from her on the grass. Her style is almost unique in the way that she goes for a winner on almost every ground stroke. She's totally fearless, but appears to play with no inhibition at all, which is very unusual. And if that works on clay, then it, there's no reason it can't work on grass, which is the hardest surface to defend on. If she's on her game, then no one can live with her. A sentimental choice, Petra Kvitova, amazing that she's playing at all. In December, she was the victim of a horrendous burglary stroke assault in her home in Poland. She had her racket hand sliced up. She then went under the knife for a four-hour operation, and six months later, she came back. She won a match at the French Open. She won a tournament last week in Birmingham. And she's a two-time former Wimbledon champion. You know, if she gets her game going, she's quite capable of winning a third title.